chatting. Nine one one. What is the location of your emergency? Four seven four eight France Court. Is this a police or medical? My boyfriend is. Okay, send the line for the fire department. Do not hang up. What the? Fire risk. Just tell me exactly what happened there. Uh, my boyfriend and I were playing last night, and I put him in a case when we were playing, like kind of hide and seek kind of thing. So. I fell asleep and I woke up and he was dead in the suitcase, so I don't know what happened. Okay, is he hanging from somewhere or what, ma'am? No, I pulled him out of the suitcase. He was in a suitcase? Yes, and I fell asleep. Right, is he breathing? No. I need you to get him on the floor, flat on his back for I me, did. okay? I did, I did, I tried giving him CPR. Yeah, okay. He's terrible. Okay, listen to me, lay him flat on his, okay, ma'am, ma'am, ma ma listen to me, I want you to lay him flat on his back for me on I the did. floor. I did, I did. Okay, with, he's stiff and purple. Okay, ma'am, that's fine, we're still going to do compressions on him, okay? I've never heard about this. Take the heel of your hand on his breastbone, right in the center of the chest. Yes. Put your other hand on top of that hand. Just by looking at him, you can tell. Okay, ah! ma'am. Please! Okay, he just gurgled. Okay, listen to me. Place the heel of your hand, right between his chest, right between his breastbones. Yes. Put your other hand on top of that hand. Yes, oh, we I want. We want to pump his chest to me hard. Chat was in slow mode for two hours. Fast. Twice per second. One, I thought two, it was out. Three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> y'all do boys. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> First day out. Tight. Yeah, yeah. Good motion. Having that. Demon home. This is 42-year-old Sarah Boone, who you just heard on the 911 call a few seconds ago. Her boyfriend was 42-year-old George Torres Jr., who she locked inside a suitcase the night before, ultimately leading to him dying of suffocation. Sarah's explanation is that it was a totally unintentional she's and shocked. unforeseen accident. Sorry. But what she's completely unaware of at this particular moment is he the fact she recorded two videos no on offense. her phone last night. The first of which was taken at 11:12 p.m. Good and shows her laughing RP. at George while he's zipped up in the suitcase. But George isn't laughing. He's asking to be let out and repeatedly stating that he can't breathe. The second video was recorded 11 minutes later showing the same thing, except the suitcase was oh. flipped over and in a different area of the oh, apartment. Sarah is both unmistakably and heavily intoxicated in these videos, which may explain the fact she didn't delete them. It would be safe to assume that she has no idea the videos exist. And yes, you will see the moment she becomes aware of their existence. But we first have to acknowledge how this episode was even possible, and that would be the Law and Crime Network. They sent us the uncompressed documents that comprise this video. And almost every case we have covered, or will cover, is already available in its raw form on this channel, which includes the two main items of public record in the case of Sarah Boone, starting with the body cam footage, which is right where we left off. Hello there. Different area of the apartment. Sarah is both unmistakably and heavily intoxicated in these videos, which may explain the fact she didn't delete them. It would be safe to assume that she has no idea the videos exist. And yes, you will see the moment she becomes really aware of their still existence. Wear but sandals. we first have it's to just a lot of selections and where is out there. And that would be the Law and Crime oh, no. Network. They sent us the uncompressed documents that comprise this video. And almost every <clears> case we have covered, or will cover, is already available in its raw form on this channel, which includes the two main items of public record in the case of Sarah Boone, starting with the body cam footage, which is right where we left off. Hello there. Okay, wait one second, okay? I really need something to drink. Okay, we'll what take you mean? On the counter. Okay, we'll take care of you. Give me one second. Um, Not flip flop. I just got here, so fill me in. No problem. Like, yeah, me and I are putting right. a puzzle together. We've been doing some artwork right together. Home. You are putting a puzzle together? Yes, we have a puzzle that we started in there. Okay. Like, having a good time with one another. But we're drinking. We had a bottle of wine last night. Okay. Fine. So then it's like, we decided to play hide and seek, right? Okay. So, he gets in the suitcase. Okay. What? That's my Brody, man, I'm not showing you no know, guns. I'm not, first of all, no. guns? I called him over here. Dude, chill. Okay, okay. I didn't know what to do. I have pepper okay, spray. Private, okay? I called you guys. All we had was a bottle of wine. Literally, just a bottle of wine. Okay. Doing puzzle artwork. Then we decided to play hide and seek. Mm -hmm. This That's bitch is happened. lying. Okay, okay. Here, let me fill this deputy in, okay? Please, may I have my Dr. Pepper? I am oh, so cut now right now. It's on the counter. I can't move anything from out of the house. It's still blood in her fingernails. I need 
It's blood in her fingernails, bro. The officer then talks to Sarah's ex-husband. About 11.30 is when I start calling to find out because this is supposed to be her day. He referred to the fact that Sarah was meant to have custody of their son today. She's generally not very good about always doing it. Damn, that's nail polish? Yo, bro, don't make me go back, bro. Oh, damn. I thought I was tripping. I thought the little outline. You know what? You're right, bro. I'm get somebody over here. And then I bet. Uh, basically she said she needed to go outside, have a drink and a cigarette. But um, I called her initially. Give me one second, okay? He's currently on parole because of it, so. Um, because of domestic violence with her? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. He explains that George has been arrested for domestic violence multiple times against Sarah, and that Sarah's literally bailed him out every time. I, I don't know what it is. Oh, she's getting water from the tap. She's probably going to pass out on us. Okay, well, listen. The police officer asks the ex-husband to stick around for a little while longer. She then gets a notepad and returns to Sarah to collect more information. At some point, you put him in the suitcase? No, he got in the suitcase. So okay. he thought it would be funny to be put in the suitcase. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to joke with you and I'll zip you up and make him, you know, squirm a little bit, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But then I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. I Bitch. fell asleep. Where was the suitcase? Right where it is. In it. Right down there. That's yes. how you fall asleep. Yes. Thought he would be funny a little bit. It drunk. was. We both were laughing about it. Okay. And then I fell asleep. Where did you fall asleep at? Upstairs. I just totally so forgot. you began to do CPR on him? Yes. From yes. About Any what gurgle. time this morning did you gurgled. start doing that CPR? No, it was the afternoon. And it, like, air was coming out and he was gurgling, but mm -hmm. I could just tell by looking at him. But you knew how to do CPR. You were doing that on your own? Yes. Okay. I want you to sit back down because I don't Can want I you. Can I have one more sip of water, please? Yeah, go, go. On. Can I have a cigarette, please? <laughs> Ma'am, I can't take any Can't blame her that outside like uh, nope. water oh, from the, here, okay? the drain the should be good as fuck. The can't blame her right there. Only thing the I won't blame the bitch on. Right should be hitting from that hose outside. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. This will be a fun one. He's nine. <laughs> He's I can't even start with how you would explain <laughs> something like this. Hitting. Okay. The ex-husband leaves. Y'all don't go outside no more, bro. Y'all wouldn't even know what I'm talking about. Not right now. We can't have you go and get anything. Why don't you sit in the shade? The investigators then arrive. Hey, Sarah. Yeah. Did you get enough water? Yeah. Uh, we'll have to stand up, though. No, if you want to stay seated, don't. I don't want you getting lightheaded. I feel weird. So remember, I said the detectives were gonna. Yeah, because you just killed somebody. The fuck? They're here. They're gonna ask you a few questions and then go from there. Okay. okay. All right. All right, Sarah. My name's Chelsea. My partner Scott. They ask Sarah what happened. So he decided to get in the suitcase. So I thought it would be funny to, and he was laughing about it too, mm -hmm. to dip him up in there. Mm -hmm. I go upstairs and fell asleep. Um, I don't know what happened. Okay. After you zipped him up, did you move the bag around and mess with him at all, or you just zipped it up and walked away and I laughing? I both were laughing about it, I but I went upstairs and I fell asleep. Okay. I'm afraid for my life. I want you to know that. I am afraid that? for my life. I will be asking for my and vape Sarah in this situation too, Sarah though, in GL. That is bad. Have you called any of them? Um, we talked to his daughters yesterday. No, I mean, like, about... Tell so y'all gotta get off them damn okay. flums. They're gonna kill me. Okay, well... Do they live local? Yes, they're down the road. They're going to kill me. The detectives reassure Sarah that she's not about to get murdered, and then go in to investigate the apartment. Just you? Seated, okay, Don't smoke no okay. damn okay. nicotine, okay. nigga. Nigga. We'll keep checking on you. This police officer was brilliant. Her would I do that? was perfect for the situation. The investigators simply asked Sarah to stay somewhere else for the night and to come to the police station the following day with any questions she might have. Sarah stayed with her ex-husband, then showed up at the sheriff's office the next day at 3.51 p.m. with an entire handwritten page of questions, the first of which was about when she's getting back her phone. I'm going to have you sit in the green chair. What's on the phone, chat? Appreciate you coming in. Yes, ma'am. Sarah takes out her page of questions, which the investigator semi-acknowledges then brushes off. Um, so obviously, um, you received I don't this like her, bro. So I don't like this bitch haircut. I don't like the way she sit, I, we have look. To talk about that. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? No. And do you understand what I just read you? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Sarah has no idea what just happened. This morning we went to his autopsy, um, and we were informed of some injuries that he has um, by the doctor. So he had some injuries to his left shoulder. Um, he had 
Um, he had a cut near his like lip. We could see we could see his um, his mouth was a little. Uh, I haven't laid a hand on him. Okay. Forensics have since proven that George sustained his injuries the night he died, and he didn't have them before entering the apartment. I <coughs> also too, I he fell off my son's bike. Okay. So I don't know, and he's notorious for running into the wall or okay. the hall tree. So okay. I. Okay. The investigator details further injuries, including a contusion on his neck. And they're all recent. Like, they, they, they occurred recently. It wasn't something that occurred post or that occurred a week ago or two days ago, three days ago. They definitely occurred, you know, the night leading up to when he was... In all case. honesty, all honesty, we have not gotten into it. I have no idea what it is. No okay. idea what it is. We had a good time mm -hmm. sitting on the back porch, having wine, and smoking a couple of cigarettes, and then decided to go inside and literally paint, do puzzles, and play, mm -hmm. and listen to music. That's why. She had all night to set this up, which is the issue. For all we know, she could have designed this entire scene of events from scratch. There is a 12-hour gap between the timestamp on her videos to the moment police showed up on her doorstep, which is plenty of time to assemble what looks like a very pleasant scene of events that in no way precipitated a drunken act of revenge that ultimately led to murder. Nobody got out of sorts. This is what's mind-blowing to me. Like, I don't... Okay. I have no clue. Nobody laid a hand on anybody. He also had, um, <laughs> like on the left side of his forehead, he had basically bruising, um, and, um... It's not a herpes blanket, bro. I have no Stop idea. Stop saying that shit. something hit him. I consider have not for touched him. Trauma. I have not touched him. <clears throat> this bitch is 50 years him. old. What's she talking I about? Hot and no see. idea. We had a good day. That don't make sense. It was a good day. We've had good days lately. It's been good. Like, I don't even know where this is coming from. <laughs> the interrogator now brings up Sarah's last call to police, reporting domestic violence. Yeah, he said a month ago he hit you with a curtain rod. Yeah, with a curtain rod. That's why I can't believe you guys didn't take that either. <laughs> she just referred to the fact that George didn't face charges for the alleged assault. Like, we've been good. I don't know if, like, it's since the last time he got out of jail. Like, we've been good, and he's been having his classes. What do you mean by good? What's your definition of good? The probation officer? No, oh, no, you said you guys have been good. What's your definition I've of good? I've been good. I don't think you all understand. He comes at me all the time. He comes at me. So it's either I flee or try to go upstairs and go to sleep. That's usually what it is. And I don't know if you talk to Brian about any of that, but most of the time when I flee, I go over there. So... Sarah is detailing insane, possible motives for retaliation. <laughs> Routine procedure would be to keep her train of thought locked on this element, provide encouragement and understanding while inquiring like, further into the suspect's grievances with the victim. The only problem is that the lead interrogator really, 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 really doesn't like Sarah and abandons the task of pretending to, which makes this a significantly flawed yet remarkably entertaining process to bear witness. Right, but you're saying that you guys have been good, and when I asked you yesterday, there has been the last incident that you could remember was the curtain rod incident, which you said was a month ago, so give or take. Right. The investigator challenges an earlier assertion which remodels the discourse, and the suspect then starts defending her relationship with the victim. I really love him. Like, I do. And I feel like I can help Shut him. Shut up, bitch. He came a really long way. And he was trying. He was really trying. She somehow transitions into the principle of how she doesn't normally drink, and it's kind of only because of George that she drinks it all. The occasional wine, whatever. How did a grown man get in a suitcase? That's when you you have a good time. You I don't, don't have to wake fucking up know, bro. I have to wake up the next day and do things. I Why would a grown man get in a suitcase? Bitches, you crazy? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Previously, fire that. that I need to get done. He can't process like that. He didn't process like that. So the next thing you know, he doesn't want to deal with it. I'm going to go get Bruh, something Bro, 50-year-old people is no not getting drunk off a bottle and wine. I try three Smirnoffs and a fucking uh, bottle of fucking Casamigos, nigga. Their livers is done. Ask everyone. I... These okay. niggas can drink. Nigga, I you don't got an uncle? Sarah talks about George's anger management classes and the supposed progress he was making. And would always come home and show me his papers. And we would look over his papers together. Where it's like, wow, you actually are learning this in class? And some of the stuff that they would show them, like videos, he would come home and be like, Sarah, I'm so sorry for what I've done to you. He changed. 
And that's why you're still with him, even though he's done all these things to you. And when I tell you I love him, I love him. Chat is two two two. Go text her, chat. Te text her, chat. Text her, text her. Also, shit like it's two two two, and I'll just like she gonna see what the time next you moment, sent it. Just the say he was thinking about it or something. Then they have to do something to defend themselves. Sarah's Hurry temperament up, will go. completely switch at the completion of this sentence. Then they have to to do something to defend I'm blocked. themselves. Oh. I would just flee, and I don't know if you would like to see on my phone, or I think it's I think it's actually on a laptop. She explains how she once filed a restraining order against George, then for some reason brings up his ex-wife. When I say a monster, she's a monster. Like it does, she... <laughs> the interrogator lets her vent about the ex-wife for two minutes. She will now bring the focus back to the investigation. Um, since talking yesterday, do you remember any, like, time timelines better? Like, what time uh, you guys were playing? What time you, he was zipped up in the luggage? What time you I went upstairs? You we started because we had we cleaned the house a little bit, did some laundry. She recalls the game starting at around 4 p.m. and her going to sleep at around midnight. So I have four and I have midnight, so there's a big gap. So I'm just curious, like, if you recall when you went upstairs to hide in the shower or... Like when we started to play, hide mm -hmm. and seek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we went inside probably about, if I had to guess, we weren't, we weren't out there too long. Um, worked on the puzzle again, finished it, started to paint, well, started listening to music for a little bit. Bad fix, bitch. Paint. Shut up. Uh, can we turn the music off? No problem. Started to talk, paint, whatever. I don't want to paint anymore. Let's just, ugh, come on. Okay, you want to play hide and seek? What he does is, okay, hide and seek. So it's like, okay, we know. Okay, take off. That's not how you play hide and seek. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did. Yeah, what um, the have fuck? you guys ever played the? You said you played. What type of fucking like, hot and seek is that? Mm -hmm. When you have played, have you ever zipped him up in a suitcase prior? No. Okay. The suitcase originally <laughs> is in our closet. Why is she trying to make it sound like it was all kinky? All the way to the back. If you, I don't. I know the CSI people saw our closet. Our closet needs to be cleaned out really bad. My son's clothes need to be. Cleaned out really bad because they don't fit him anymore, and I'm tired of looking at him. What's the pen so message? He took it upon himself, including that suitcase, to take it downstairs so we can get all of our clothes, our donations, and everything, and just leave the whole thing by the clothing and shoe thing at my son's school. No, we're just. Ask, I'm just asking. Out of weird. Y'all are like, weird as fuck. Have, have you ever zipped him up in anything, jokingly or not? But obviously, no. I understand. You know, you're claiming that Sunday it was a joking matter. You were laughing, yes. he was laughing. But what I'm just asking is in the past. Like, is it something Absolutely that you guys not. normally do? Absolutely not. Okay. Um, okay, so do you remember making any videos or maybe having any cover? Anything, any t photos, videos that you remember doing on your phone on Sunday? <laughs> bro, the no. bitch is lying, bro. I, think I took a picture of a dog. This whole lying. Um, so I have something that I want to show you that we found, um, and it was oh. from your phone. With regard to the colossal realm of interrogation footage, the level of notoriety these next moments acquired is virtually unprecedented. I feel like this picture belongs on a wall somewhere. Oh, <laughs> bitch, you in trouble. <laughs> If you need to move it around, go ahead. It's not showing though, y'all. Hold on. No, I don't remember that. For everything you've done to me. Yeah. For everything you've done to me. Your battery's about to die. Shut it down. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Yo, no! Why the fuck was that in her favor? Yo, bro, she literally sold. Bitch, bring your charger to work. What are you doing? It wasn't showing it though, y'all, so I mean. No, I don't remember that. For everything you've done to me. For Mommy, everything go, you've done to me. Mommy, I'll go, y'all. Thank you for the get this up. Shut it down. Oh, okay. Let me. Sarah may have been hoping that that was the end of it. Really can't say that I blame oh, her for that. Oh, shit. They brought the charger, y'all. <laughs> Game one. It's a bomb because I don't know how much I can take. Mm -mm. 
I don't know how much I can take. Shut up, skank. The fuck up. Do I have to watch this? I continuously throw up. I don't sleep. I don't want to see it, if that's okay. You can either explain Drew, it, it or we take it for what it is. Yeah. We're just trying to give you the opportunity to tell us what's going on. That's it. <coughs> it's that long? Two minutes. No. For everything you've done to me. For everything you've done to me. Oh. Fuck you. So this is upside down. The interrogators should not be cutting each other off, but their missteps can be forgiven on this occasion due to the power of the evidence, which the lead detective will now focus on. Guys, this is killing me right now. So this image is upside down, and then this That's small so video sad, bro. that occurred 11 minutes later, it's flipped over the other way, closer to your dining room table. Okay. Now he's obviously still in there, so he didn't... How did that, how did it go from the back to the front? I flipped it. Okay. My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. Well, that's what you did. Yeah. But not intentional of. No, you told me you went upstairs because what? you were that's getting ready for bed. Just to be clear, Sarah still has no idea how screwed she is. She just referred to an earlier statement that she didn't lock up the suitcase all the way so George could get out. Stop here. Okay, but... Where's here? Show me where you can see any fingers coming out. It's and his head's right here. Mm hmm So going like this, it's like this. But oh why my is he God, saying I bitch, can't sit breathe? Down. And what are why you is talking he about? On it as if he can't get out. This is just sad. Um, no there's no okay. hole. Stood there's up no and fingers. said shit. I don't see his fingers. There's no hole. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like I don't know like what you want me to tell you. I'm just showing you. I'm just telling you what we see. Yeah. And what we've heard from the other I video. I understand. I understand. He's begging to let for you to let him out. You sound. You're laughing in the beginning, and then in the end, it sounds kind of like a no. It's not malicious. Well, saying fuck you. Yeah. It's not malicious. Then what is that? So y'all was RP. Now she wanted to try to make it sound kiki, chat. You see how she's trying to switch it up? She was trying to make him sound like a rip. You see him in there. This Why video is this to do that, bro? Starts, so was he in there for like a long time prior to no. recording this? No. No. I think we've all gathered by now that Sarah might be twisting the truth in her favor a little bit. She, she seems to have fuck. forgotten that two minutes ago she claimed to have no recollection of this incident. So her impeccable memory all of a sudden seems rather selective. But I didn't think that he was like panicky. Like I didn't... I. So pushing up on a suitcase saying, Sarah, 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 I can't, I breathe. can't breathe. And you're the only one laughing. Okay. And you're the only one saying derogatory comments. Like you're mad. No. Please don't, I don't mean to sound negative, and I don't know if I can say this, but <coughs> like it's like you guys are kind of trying to like feed me. The interesting thing about Sarah is that her intuition is correct. She sort of recognizes what the police are doing here, but still has no idea of the ramifications. Her energy resembles that of someone who feels the police are about to start rumors about her. Like, no, I'm just trying to show you a video that you no longer want to watch because you probably don't want to know the outcome of how and what you said. My plan was not I would have made that bitch watch the whole the thing. Goal. My plan was not to He'll break her down. Here. But, but you again. willingly went upstairs. Hell, fucking detectives. Force you to go upstairs and get My ready pain wasn't also to leave him in the suitcase. So why didn't you take him out? Because I went upstairs and then I fell asleep. But why didn't you? Man, play the video, him? bro. He's asking bitch is lying. Him. I didn't do it intentionally. What do you think is going to happen if you leave somebody in a confined space like that? <clears throat> well, I thought by not zipping it up all the way, it would be okay. My plan was not to leave him in the And what was your plan? Waiting for him to come upstairs. I thought it was like, I thought he was okay. Like I didn't, that you he's all- He's telling you he's not. He's telling you, Sarah, I, I can't I, breathe. He's saying your name and you're like, that's my name, don't wear it out. Guys, 
that's how we are with each other. The whole suitcase thing never happened before. Sarah tries to move on to another topic, but the interrogator doesn't allow it and brings her back to the specifics of the evidence. Again, his head is closer to us facing the video, so we should be able to see fingers, and we don't see anything. We see no movement of him trying to unzip it or physically unzipping it. All we see is pushing up, trying to push out of it. Please do not assume. I mean, put him in, so why don't you get <laughs> Bitch, out? what? Because I was upstairs and I fell asleep. No, before you went upstairs. You, like, consciously had to walk upstairs. Do you, I mean, you obviously remember going to bed because you were able to give me a time frame on that. Mm -hmm. And you specifically mm -hmm. told me that, that you went I upstairs. My intention is not for this to happen. I am sick about it. I've never done anything like this before in the past. I am sick. The lead interrogator starts playing the video as Sarah is mid-sentence reiterating her innocence. I don't know, I, I, I mean, I don't know what you all want me to tell you because this was not in any way, shape, or form. You move, you admit to moving the... Bitch is a thug. Like over. So a lion thug. Like, a murdering like, thug. I just wanted the to be like that. Lock this bitch under the jail. You didn't want him to be upside down? How do you even get upside down? Right. You guys are killing me right now. Uh-oh. I don't know how. I don't know how. Play it. Keep playing you it. You want me to say it. I didn't mean to leave him in there. Break her down, girl. What's your reasoning for, um... Not calling 911 sooner. Because I didn't know what to do and how horrific it was. I called Ryan and like what, five minutes later I called you guys? Not even five minutes. And it was continually doing <laughs> CPR with the dispatch on the phone. So when he asked to be let out, like what's your reasoning for not letting him out? When I was upstairs? No, when he's asking on the video, he asked multiple times. He asked to be let out. I can't breathe. What? Like, why didn't you let him out? Well, number one, I uh, number one, I had no idea it was going to end like that. Okay. Number one. Okay. Uh, number two, just you know what? I'll give you five minutes or so in there. That's. I'll give you five minutes or so. What the fuck did I do to you? For what? This was an absolutely imperative moment to allow the suspect to elaborate, but the lead interrogator cuts her off. Well, based off the video, one video is at 11.12 and the next one's at 11.23, so you actually gave him at least 11 minutes per video recording. Niggas be talking like is, they live with me, bro. <laughs> he asked multiple times, I mean, why? Damn, why did you not let him out? It's just a simple I, question. To be honest with you, I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Niggas sound no. like my mom. Just, well, that's what you're saying in the video. Um, this is what you get. This is oh. what you make me feel like. See, and then it's all backfired on me. I will never drink alcohol again. Okay. I don't care what it is in any way, <laughs> shape, or form. This just ain't an AA meeting. <laughs> you just killed somebody. What the fuck? <laughs> can't breathe. Yo, she's say, fucking fuck idiotic. What are you trying I to do? This bitch's brain is as smooth as a fucking hockey puck. Jesus when he was Christ. Let, be let out, you're like, Again, the fuck am I watching, y'all? It's calling wolf. And it's not fair. It is not fair. You guys are trying to, again, oh, he's in there. Night, night. He's begging for his wife, telling you he can't breathe. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't. Night, I night? Intentionally mean for this to happen. Well, my question is, why didn't you just let him out prior to going up? I don't know why. He's begging to be let out. He's not laughing. <laughs> He's not having fun. So are you guys, so what is it you're trying to, like, we're just trying to figure out why. Why? 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 What? Why? What was why? the motivation for leaving him in the back? Why he was left in the back? Why the video? I didn't have any motivation. Thank you for the right, it was Angel. me, he and I having a great day. Fooling around and being stupid. You know, it's a good analogy for the day, excluding the fact that he's got uh, a, a bump on the back of his head, a bump on the front of his head, and his lip is busted, and he has a oh bump on gosh. his eye. I mean, I don't know what you all want me to tell you. Like this Bruh. is not fair. Lock that this you bitch all are up. Assuming that that's God from damn. Me. Where else did it come if from? You Yo, you said thank you for the five gifted. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. And you're asking to be let out. Should they not let you out? 
Jesus. Uh, eventually. I'm guessing. I mean, I don't... <laughs> I'm blaming it on the wine. <laughs> blaming it on the wine? Shut Yo. After Yo, Chad, you. When, I, when I be drinking, when I drink wine for my 21st birthday, did I put somebody in a fucking suitcase? Everything was laughing and fun. Now we're watching a video where it's not laughing no, the and fun. He's stop. begging for his life. And you are in a very angry stop. voice telling him to fuck off. No. It's not fair <laughs> that you guys keep trying to say that that's what I did. And if he could push it open, why wouldn't he have gotten out himself? Why would he beg you to open it? Okay. I tell you he can't breathe. Okay. If I, someone I, can I, do yeah. something for themselves, they're going to do it. They don't oh, need Oh, Chad, I order another chair, too. Yeah, I needed another chair no. for Lucky. No. Or he could sit in this one. I don't care. I don't have I want to sit in the, uh, in the other one. It's right. cool. You're telling us that we're assuming stuff, but what we're simply doing is telling you what we saw in the video and repeating what you told us. I understand. Because I don't remember that. Okay. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. Just cause this is a Harmon Miller, it. bro. Sarah now gets freaked out by the Shit male detective. Sturdy. She thinks he's texting someone about her, which creates an absurd yet hilarious moment. So, is the texting thing something about me? Like, what's... The Every one? boyfriend. Texting? Oh, no, I'm texting. No, I... I, I have one last question. I just... I mean... <laughs> you, you realize you're the person that killed him, right? I thought about that. Okay, I, you left him in a bag when he's begging you, saying... I can't breathe, let me out, and you said, fuck you. Not intentionally. You got up. Who the fuck she arguing with? You all? Please sit down. <laughs> <laughs> sit the fuck I down. I did not, not Jesus intentionally kill him. I got you on video screaming, fuck you. This is what it feels like when you're choking me. There's still feelings towards it. You wouldn't say it if you didn't feel it. And then you flip the bag around several times. I didn't do that intentionally. You didn't intentionally flip the bag around? No. Why would I do that? Well, you Good told question. Me you did. did. When he was upside down. This shit right. not funny, but what you the fuck? I down. know, bro. I'm trying not to laugh, bro. It had to have been on its back with the lid open for him to get in there for you to zip. I all the new niggas going, where you get the chin from? Chat, bro. I did not. It's surgery, bro. Dead ass. Like on some late night shit. I did not get surgery. Dead ass. Like on some late night shit. No jokes. No none. This is my five percent serious of me being serious. I didn't get fillers. Anything, bro. I guess it's dead ass to go T, bro. For real. Like I'm breaking character for this, y'all. So I'm being serious. <laughs> like dead ass though. I dead ass don't got nothing in my shit. For real, for real. Implants. The fuck are you talking about, bro? Stop. Flip it up. Then it shows it on the other side with him in it. So you had to flip it to there. And then there's another video. What if I get a nose job, bro? You think I would? I'm not gonna lie. If I touched anything and if I was to get surgery, bro, you think I wouldn't? Bro, I would have been. Yo, this shit. This shit would have been looking like fucking. Uh, hmm. Who would I model my nose after? Christian Bale, nigga. I would have been had a Christian Bale nose. Oh, God. Where it's on his back again, so you had to... I'm it leaving it like this, please. I'm leaving it like this. I on some shit. On some Batman shit. Do this. You left him in there. You didn't so, try on to some, on some MJ shit. This is not... I, this, you didn't leave him in there? RP cool. MJ. Like, this is not cool. It's not cool. You intentionally left him in there and left the room. <laughs> you went upstairs to a different room. Yo, why I, are you talking about scissor nose job? Chill, bro. Him. Well, you gave up checking out all the <laughs> What the fuck? Oh gosh. My bad, I laugh. My bad. Anybody look at it? I ain't even here, bro. I ain't even here. Let me pay attention to the video. They're still feeling towards it. You wouldn't say it if you didn't feel it. And then you flipped the bag around several times. I didn't do that intentionally. You didn't intentionally flip the bag around? No. Why would I do that? Well, you Good told question. me you, you did. did. When he was upside down. Why right? hasn't she asked for a lawyer? Can't, you can't get in a suitcase upside down yeah. because... I don't know, James. I think they just got the fucking video evidence of her murdering her husband in a suitcase, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of tough. There. Then there's another video where it's on his back again, so you had to... Flip I'm leaving it like this, please. I'm leaving it like this. I did not intentionally do this. 
You left them in there. You did try to dance around the back. This they are the worst detectives not, ever. Play the video in front of this bitch's face. Not cool. like, this is Make not her cool. suffer. Not cool. You intentionally left them in there and left the room. What y'all bring it up for? I would do anything for him. Well, you gave up checking up on him. So. I wouldn't let him out of a suitcase. Oh, gosh. Anybody looking at it, doesn't, I don't think anybody no. would look at that video and go, George is having fun right now. The discourse repeats itself a they few more it. times, and then Sarah brings out her list of questions. Of water and so, shit. am I getting uh, my phone back? No. Not today. I would have slapped that glass out of um, her fucking what about head. about Lucas' laptop? No. Not today. Not today. How do I go about getting his um, wedding ring, engagement ring? It's at the medical examiner's office. It'll come to us eventually, and no, then it'll, it'll be released to the, oh, to to the, the next with Kim. Yeah. Okay. I bought it for him. Okay. That is a civil issue. It was on his finger. It goes to them. They're the ones that are going <laughs> to release it. We don't have any say in that. So I won't get that back. So, what's next? They're going to come and swap your fingers. No, I'm talking about like in the long run, like. Yeah. What do I need to, like... Mr. Short Run, your race is over. Like, I can't tell you like, what to do. I mean, like, so, like, for... Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't know if jail. you guys are just gonna, like... I'm not admitting Prison. anything about being intentional and... 60 days I, in. Like, we told you everything that we Life. Have. You know everything Edition. that we know. So, after this, what? I'm done? In itself, for me to have to live with getting him out and doing what I did is punishment enough. Nonetheless, I have to live without him now. Mm -hmm. His daughters, too. Mm. Daughters. Are you trying to make it worse? You killed him, bitch. Sorry, what? Are you trying to make it worse? Forensics take her DNA and fingerprints. The investigators then return. Yeah, okay, GG's. Sarah. Whore. My bad. So, you're not free to go. Okay. This comment seriously puts Sarah on edge, but she still won't quite be fully aware of what's happening. This is coupled with the fact the investigators now try to get a solemn declaration out of her to close out the interrogation. She kills somebody. The psychological somebody. dynamics of the moment are extraordinary. Oh, do you promise everything you told us is the truth? Or no? <clears throat> everything we've talked about today? Yes. What do you mean? The investigator explains that it's just protocol. Do you promise and swear that everything we've talked about today has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? To the best of my knowledge? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? That's how you to the male detective re-explains that it's just routine, only in a far more comforting tone. But the tone doesn't do a whole lot to reassure Sarah. She looks about ready to get swallowed Man. up by a wormhole and take her chances in a separate dimension. Bruce, I can't focus. Watch TikToks. <laughs> like, this is what a nigga with ADHD in the chat looks like, y'all. Uh, better call saw uh, white-haired person tone five. Four of the white hair person tone five if looks could kill. Are you gonna sleep with Lucky on stream? Nigga, she not bad. Cat laughing emoji. Hey Bruce, is this W acting? Performing arts emoji. Bruce, I can't watch. <laughs> Bruce, I can't focus. Watch TikToks. Wow, bro. That is literally <laughs> Like, he literally has multiple personality disorder, bro. It's not a trick question. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge. Nigga got the fucking attention span of a baby bulldog. Holy shit, bro. Yes, Relax. Okay. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Stand up. Stand up. I need you to turn around face the wall. Damn. Behind your back. Do you have anything GG's. in your pockets that I should know This weak ass fucking detective fit he got on, bro. What a YSL to uh, sue that. Not intentionally. So this was a trick. You were right, you're right. Why are you trying? Because. Before y'all said I could leave. So what am I supposed to do now? Uh, go to prison? The fuck? 
I don't, I had I don't work in the stupid bitch. And I need water like really bad, please. Where does nigga get a silk shirt from? Yeah. <laughs> An officer comes to take Sarah to the jail, but Sarah has questions first. Holes? Um, those holding cells? The holding cells? I've and never been inside of Coles. What the fuck? Let them know that. Yeah. I don't know. Go stand up. So what am I going to do with my purse? What made you all decide to do this? They never. Uh-huh. George is dead. You guys, I knew this was going to happen. You did? Sarah was taken to the Orange County Jail uh, yeah, at 544 you did, you're a PM. Thug. She was charged with second-degree murder and held without bond, which keep in mind was in late February of 2020, just before the entire bro, planet went Ill, into lockdown bro, due to a pain. Ill, bro. Fucking ill. I knew this was gonna happen. This bitch looked like she belonged in a fucking cartoon Disney movie, bro. Sarah was taken to the Orange County Jail at 5.44 p.m. She was charged with second-degree murder and held without bond, which keep in mind... Ew! Kill it! My bad. It was in late February, <laughs> February of 2020. Just before, in game. before the entire planet went into lockdown due to a pan. Terrible fucking builds on God, bro. This is bad builds. Face to leg ratio, calf ratio. That's bad builds. This is bad. This is just bad everything. And this is a bad person. Pandemic. So Sarah must have had a real fun time Bad getting genetics, acclimated to, to the be new environment. She's been in the county jail since, with a trial date set for April 10th of this year. She's currently working with. She got yo chin. What? Yo, bro. What the fuck are y'all talking about, bro? Our chins don't look the same, chat. They don't. It's di shit is different now, bro. You talking to a whole different nigga, literally. I don't know what y'all saying. With her seventh attorney. Six have already filed motions to get the fuck out of there, and all of them <laughs> cited the same reason, which was irreconcilable differences. Jesus, bro. In mid 2000. Yo, I wish he went like deeper into the story for some reason. Like, no way that was just only 36 minutes of that, but that was a quick case. So.